Hello and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast, the least successful podcast with the biggest identity crisis. And today we're talking about movies. Uh, I'm Brendan, here with Luke. Yeah. And Jonathan. That's me. Um, do we do we want to go over our sort of credentials to talk about movies, or do you just want to get right into it? I have. Do we watched. do we have credentials? Well, you I you were a fledgling watched, yeah. actor for. Yeah, no, no. I I have actual credentials, but I didn't want to be like. I mean, do you really have actual? Do you have like a? I would I would say actual, he has an IMDb yeah. page, so I say it counts. Hold on, yeah. hold on. I mean, I, I was in acting, the industry. Yeah, but I will say like. You have I've no production in... experience, therefore you should just say I've watched a movie. No, no, he, he was an actor. He's been on sets. He's yeah, I've I've been a part of the industry. I auditioned okay, for like well. actual yeah, and you were out there what three yeah. four years? Uh, well, I was out there alone for three years, but then like when I was a kid, I was out there off oh, and on right, for right. Like six. Yeah. And then Luke, you made dumb home movies with your friends for years. I guess I've also watched a movie. And I, yeah, I've watched some movies. That's the extent of my credentials, is I have watched some movies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, today we're talking about Christopher Nolan's latest movie, Tenant. Tenant. I believe it's Tenant. Yeah, yeah. just yeah, Tenant. Tenant. Uh, and just off the top, I want to just find out your general feeling of this movie. You don't have to give it like a 1 to 10, just like what you thought. So Luke, where are you at on this? I thought uh, it was a movie with a lot of interesting ideas. Um that it didn't necessarily work out for me personally. Uh, I would say it's one of Christopher Nolan's more okay movies. Okay. Anyway. Jonathan? I would pretty much agree with that. I think that it was a really good movie, but it had a lot of flaws. I think that it started with a cool idea, and it simultaneously didn't lean hard enough into that idea and when it leaned the hardest it failed like it just didn't lean in the right directions interesting i think this is a bad movie <laughs> i'm just gonna say it. <laughs> like the premise yeah. the premise is interesting and it could have been it could have been okay good, but i think it as it stands it's a bad movie for so this several is be reasons like a seven minute video just fyi <laughs> No, I think because, it's because I disagree. I disagree with it being a bad movie. I think so, that there's way too much potential to call it bad. The potential does I mean, not make it good, though. You have but to. It you, had, but it realized enough of the potential. Uh, that you could all right, do it. then we're gonna we're gonna have a yeah. conversation because I don't. Yeah, really, I don't think it realized it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the my first half of this movie, just to, just to, the first half of this movie. I was so bored. Yeah. I think I, the, I think the first 20 minutes is not bad though. I would say the first yeah, the first I would 20 say, minutes during really? the the Russian thing and then when yeah, he wakes just up the, I'm like, "Oh, what's happening yeah. now?" That was Oh, funny. okay. The the opera Everything scene beyond the that, opera scene the to him waking 40, up. Yeah. The, probably the next 40 minutes to an hour are absolutely horrendous. Like I think are, in, until he met the the girl, it was just like way too like it, it went so fast and like that's They're that's not famous. necessarily a problem but they just kept saying like oh don't worry about it they would try to set up characters to be like awesome and then they'd just be like oh no 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 don't worry about it oh hey this is like an impenetrable impenetrable fortress and then they'd break into it in like two minutes yeah there were a lot of changes with no room to breathe like so we get the explain the explanation of inversion um by the scientist, I forget the actress's name. Uh, no, Clem never, Clemens Posey. Never appears again. Yeah, Clemens Posey. She never, she never appears again. Um, and it, we're mostly just told ignore it. And then he meets up with Michael Caine, who again is in the movie for five, ten minutes, and then never shows up again. Yeah, yeah. only to set up the next scene. And there was there's there was a lot of so that. much exposition that was just meaningless. Yeah, in it the first half, there's a lot of set changes for no reason. And it really like worked it against it when they tried to bring some of the characters back. Like, yeah, when, I felt like uh, the the Indian uh, lady. Yeah, um, when that when for example, example, when she came was... back later on in the movie, I was like, oh, so she actually is somebody that I'm supposed to care about. Like, I I just couldn't, yeah, I couldn't make that connection that she was going to be in the movie. And it it was such later. a like it, it, they didn't give the I will say this. The whole entire production, they didn't give enough time 
for uh, certain things to actually like impact you. So for example, I think the biggest mistake in Tenet is they're the, the main character, just the protagonist, no name. At yeah. All. That's so frustrating. Yeah. Um, let, let's be honest here. Did you, there's nothing special about this character whatsoever. No, he, he exists to be an audience on. surrogate. That's it. Yeah. And I mean, that's fine, but then it's the same thing for almost all the characters. You, for example, one, one of the core tenets, tenets of, uh, um, like filmmaking is kind of give your character some characterization. Yeah. This, so I don't know. That was one of my and biggest was, complaints in this movie is it's two hours and 40 minutes, something like that, two, two and a half hours, something in that realm and not a single character develops. And it's frustrating yeah. too, because some of the characters have chemistry with one another, like um, Robert Pattinson and, and John David Washington look like they're having fun together, but mm -hmm. and we're supposed to believe they're friends, and you kind of get it because well, they have chemistry. The very, but the also, only no. moment I felt anything in that entire movie was the very end mm -hmm. when he knows he's gonna uh, when he knows that uh, the main Robert character gonna die. knows yeah. that yeah that he's going to die. But you know, I actually uh, after watching this, there was actually one glimmer of I was like, okay. I have a I have a note here that I put and it is it's a very Doctor Who ending. Yes, it is because it is exactly Matt Smith and or it is the tenth and eleventh Doctor and Riversoul. Yes. Yeah. And one thing that I thought, oh, this would be kind of cool is if you found out that the kid was Robert Pattinson. That's actually a very popular theory. And I immediately was like, I wonder if this is true. And I look it up and it's a very popular fan theory. Yeah. Um, um, I, I think the biggest crime of characterization is actually um, Kat herself. Uh, because, uh, again, to bring up core writing. She exists uh, to be a mother. Well, even worse than that. One of the core things about writing is um, show, don't tell. We are exclusively told that she loves her son and is doing it for him. We are never shown a scene with her and her son in any sort of maternal way. Like there's, there's it, like half of, one it's just assumed because it. she has a son that it also really threw me off when they finally showed the son. Cause I was assuming that he was a kid this whole time that he was like kind of grown up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're, we're like, he's, like, like, a he's, he's yeah. a non-character. <laughs> like he does, yeah. he does not exist in this movie. He doesn't exist. And again, the main thing is there's no characterization, so you feel nothing. If the kid dies, you you feel nothing. I thought the big reveal was going to be that they killed the kid or something, because uh, to make it kind of easier, I, what I see a lot of films do or movies do is um, they specifically don't characterize the characters that they plan on killing because they don't want to have like a like overtly. Uh, what do you call it? Like a too much of a reaction, right? From the audience. So they're like, all right, we're not going to show too much of the kid or they'll only show you like a glimmer of goodness of the kid. And the reason why it has to be the kid, in my opinion, or Robert Pattinson has to be the kid is because a line that cat says, which is like, he is everything. And if he's the one who, you know, has to help save the world, then he w that's the only way it would make sense. There's literally but she didn't she didn't know. That. But the fact that that is a left no she didn't. But it would it would be the only way to make that make sense. Well, this is this matter is a, whether a good jumping point because another issue for characterization I think is the writing. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, not. you're saying that line it has to uh, you know point to that. No, the writing's just bad in this movie. Um, three lines in particular that stick out to me are uh, John David Washington saying. I'm the protagonist as he kills yeah. Priya, which like her telling him he's the protagonist and he, him saying, but I thought I was the protagonist and she's saying you're a protagonist. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. But him being like, but I'm the protagonist and shooting her is terrible. Um, Seder uh, saying, if I can't have you, no one can. Terrible. It takes what is already a one dimensional villain by played by a great actor and just makes it worse. Uh, and then Kat uh, being told the stakes and the world being destroyed says, including my son. Which, like, yes, your son is one of the things in the world. Good, yeah. good gold star. And the fact that, the fact that um, his whole 
I don't know, goal is just so ridiculously over the top. It's everything I hate in a movie, you know? And I, I wouldn't say this movie I, ha- I hate it, but, like, all right, let, let, let's talk about some of the scenes in particular, right? Um, I thought the scene where he fought himself but didn't know it, and then the replay, I think that was fine. It was very obvious. Really? Yeah, yeah. But it was I, super I, obvious, I but, it. like, I actually... All right, well, I'll let you finish what you're going to say before I jump into what I was going to say. So... I en- I enjoyed that, but I think the crime was the the final battle. Um, did you ever see any of the enemies anywhere there at all? Because I swear no. I was like looking for them, and they're shooting at nothing. There's um, a, there's a few people in windows of buildings like firing RPGs and stuff, but other than that, I don't think you really see. No, th- there's fight. there's nothing. There, it's yeah. such a ball of nothing that ending. I- did they just have a really low budget for this movie? I mean, I'm gonna look it up. There's real quick. literally no it, way it's low budget. It might have been. It might have been made. During yeah, but COVID all right. Time. So it wasn't. It was no? not. Okay. It was released during COVID time. Yeah, so it was made pre-COVID. I'm pretty sure. It could have been that they rushed the, um, like the, fin- the final little bit of it. I think. I think both Jonathan and I want to go back to the, the fighting the self scene though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, what I was gonna say is. Uh, so this is what I was getting to where like I don't think it leaned heavy enough into what it actually excelled at, which was like everything about it was it came from an idea with visuals. Yes. Action scenes in reverse. And uh I think it's really telling that my favorite fight scene, like fist to fist, wasn't that scene. My favorite scene was when he was fighting in the kitchen. I just think that, that was like far better than the yeah. Other it was just a normal. It was just a regular fight. action scene, but it was really fun. Like he had so much like swagger in the fight. Like he just picked up a what I was, was it a cheese I, grater and he just like oh dude he, that cheese grater yeah when you see a little bit of the flesh yeah come he off, actually like, grates oh, his face I'm like oh fuck like that so. scene was far better than the reverse scenes and then yeah. I was like well if that is better why are we going through all of these yeah. hoops. Just so, to make this idea work that doesn't to, work as well. To uh, one of the things I had written down during that part of the movie was specifically this reminds me of James Bond. Like, I thought it was like a, to me, it almost seemed like this is like the beginning of like a James Bond and maybe people who like James Bond, which I'm not actually a big fan of James Bond, but like I was thinking this is trying to appeal to people. Who enjoyed James Bond? It's definitely a Bond esque film because, again, Kat has no character. She exists to be the female figure other than yeah. being a mother. She's very much a Bond girl. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know. If, I don't know if anyone else felt like this, but I automatically assumed that the main character was inverted, like initially, and then I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm wrong." But no, I, I didn't think that that made sense. I was like, no, like a lot of my assumptions, a lot of the things that I thought like did happen. Um, but that was not one of them at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I do want to. I still have another thing to say about the hallway scene. Uh, uh, I don't know if this uh, stuck out to you guys. Did did the fight scene seem really like pulled to you guys? Like it didn't look like hits were connecting at all. Like it, no, it, it yeah. looked like a dance more well, than exactly. But I think that that was because of how much effort they had to go to to make. To, they basically had to film half of that scene in right. Earth. But I mean, like so, some of those hits were supposed to connect, and they never felt like they did. Right, I'm weird. guessing that's because it was reversed. Okay, yeah, I, I didn't know if it was because of the reverse thing. And also, um, another thing about just an inverse fight scene. Um, so I, I get the the car scenes and and the gun scenes and stuff like that. How does a forward person fighting an adverse person work? Yeah. It it makes no sense. Like I I cannot wrap my head around how this I, would work. I think that's a Nolan thing because there's a lot of like, how would it work if you went inside someone's thoughts and tried to make them? But Inception know. sets up the rules of its universe and does it well. Like you you may have questions, but it's largely explained and and done pretty well. I would I say this is a good mostly, lead, yeah. lead in point to uh, this movie was trying to be the next inception yes. so oh, yeah. bad, so yeah. hard, and it just it wasn't. It failed miserably. Yeah. yeah. And like uh, I would agree with that. Yeah. And I mean it it's it's sad because now with this movie, 
I feel like it's going to be really hard for Christopher Nolan to make something like that doesn't, I don't know that this was the straw that broke the camel's back of the Nolan verse, if you will, to where I feel like you can see like the, what's beyond the painting on the walls. You can see like how the story is actually created and that it's not like, Oh, all these things are like, that is not just like a genius level. Yeah. He definitely just built it around scenes that he had in his head. Yeah. Yeah. Like this, this one more than any other of the movies I've ever seen that he's done seems like the most unfinished by far. Yeah. Uh, and also just the, it connects with me the least because you didn't give a shit about any of the characters. Any of them could die at any second. Uh, and I wouldn't care like to, to be frank, none of them at all. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause they're not people. It seems like almost it's not a real world and maybe you're supposed to, maybe that's the whole point. Maybe he's been dead the entire time. Can we no. go through the cast and just and not talk about their characters because obviously none of them are characters, but just talk about if we thought their performances great. were good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I get, we can start with John David Washington, who by the way is Denzel, Was- Denzel Washington's son. Uh, as yeah, I could tell the <laughs> protagonist. Um, what did you guys think of him? I thought, I thought he did he, well. Yeah, I thought he was good. I, I thought it, to to be like one negative thing, I thought he was too much like Denzel. I thought he was kind of boring, but he's also given like the audience no characters. Character so. Yeah, I mean, as I far know, as acting, I don't know if I, I agree like he that he was job. boring, just because like I actually think, given nothing, he he elevated his character just a little bit from nothing. Because he wasn't just a stone-faced like soldier person, I, like he may have acted like a stone-faced soldier person, but he had too much uh, he had too much charisma in every scene he was in, like every person that he talked to. I don't know. It just I think that he had a little bit more presence than the script gave him. I mean, other than Cat, yeah. who I thought he had no charisma. With. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no. talking like it, whatever. It was actually crazy to. because it just seemed like they never ever would ever have a thing. And, I, and to be fair, the movie does not yeah. say they have a thing. Yeah, I never, but like, I never really it might it make movie. it more a little a little bit more interesting. You would just expect but your two like, leads to have chemistry. This is this is the only thing. Um, it it didn't make any sense when they were like, well, "Let's try to save her." It didn't make any sense. Also, um, I don't know if you realize this, but the the CIA pill later on that uh, Sater is going to use is a fake. That does not kill you. No, oh, because so he has the same world pill. would not have ended. Is that so, how he planned to do it? Yes, he had. The, remember, he okay. took out the pill on the boat, he showed it to her, and said, "I'm going to do this soon or whatever." Oh, okay. And then he decided, "I don't want." Or sorry, a cat decided, "Like I don't want him to think he think he won at any point." Right. Well, well the thing is, it, it wouldn't have. Fake. It might not have happened at that moment. It still would have happened, though. He like he was dying. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the dead and the dead drop would have that. already happened at that point. So but either dude, way, considering his his health levels, he had years left. Like sure. Years. But the the continuity still would have been maintained because if the dead but drop the had gone in, no matter what, me, when he died, it would have happened. Was never contained because why? It, it, the the movie does not set anything in stone. It doesn't properly convey like all right, Tenet is the group, right? It's the group of people who are trying to stop Seder from ending the world and who are fighting against the, quote, future, who we don't exactly know who's sending this stuff. It may not even be the future. Um, I, I did like to, to say a few good things. I did like the music. The music was good. It wasn't, it wasn't the best music, but it was good music. Yeah, it was good. I, the um, thing, though, I, I had a little issue with the music, though, which was, again, it was just trying to be Inception music. I mean, to a, to some some of the songs, I'll agree, but a lot of them were their own original thing. The reverse themes for the inverse were cool too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the sound design overall was bad, though. The moment that the halon gas fills up when they're in the uh, the vault, I thought was accurate. To uh, I could actually I always hold my breath in a hold your breath scene. And I was able to hold my Just breath time it through out. it, through every point of it. Mm-hmm. And like, 
I was like, okay. Because th there have been some scenes where they held their breath for like six minutes in movies. But this had an accurate uh, time frame for people to be holding their breath. Mm -hmm. Which I thought was a, is a plus. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it just has a bunch of good ideas and then it just never meshes and it, it wasn't, it, I don't know. It reminds me of that, that picture that they often use to show like game of Thrones, which is like slices of different horses, like starting with like this beautiful horse and then, but in like reverse almost <laughs> where it like, it gets better, but it doesn't get any, I don't know. It, it's a very, it's like a patchwork movie is how I yeah. describe it. I agree with that. That's why I think it's better than just bad. But yeah, I, I, I would talk give it like about, a five or a six out of ten if I, I were want, to give it a rank. Yeah. Rating. I do want to talk about how the movie wants so desperately for you not to think about it. Yeah, because, that's very frustrating. Because it, because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like you were talking about how would an inverse person fight a regular person, but there's so many things more than that that don't make sense. With the inverted bullets, when do the shots get there? How far back in time? Oh, it doesn't matter how far. The shots back. always been there. Well, I'm saying like, so you know, you know, like when you're first introduced to it, and they have that wall that has a bunch of bullets in it. Mm -hmm. How long has that wall had the inverted bullets in it? It doesn't matter. It just means someone inverted came along and shot the wall. No, because when they shoot the wall, the bullet hole is removed. So how long? No, is no, no, the bullet no, no, no. There? You're thinking about the causality wrong. If the person is inverted, from their yeah. perspective, they shoot the bullet into the wall. Okay. From uh, guess... you, from your perspective, you'd see it come out. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I guess you're right. All right, that one was on me. I thought it was an interesting idea, but I thought even the way they portrayed it was confusing on purpose to kind of make you be like, oh, I don't know. I, I You know, uh, and I was wrong about the budget. I looked that up, too. Um, Tenet actually has a bigger budget, significantly bigger budget than Interstellar. Yeah, that's not surprising. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it, uh, Obviously, it costs a bunch of money. It's just not a good movie. <laughs> but... but Oh, how, how how do you spend fifty million more dollar where you do? I would rather take a less interesting movie that's internally consistent and not patchwork than this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you want to give it a rating? I I said five five point five. That's what I'd give it. I don't know, like it was something I could I could have on in the background, and it's not really too offensive. I mean, it's like a four or a five. It's visually appealing. The music is nice, but like, I would never recommend it to someone. I wouldn't no, watch no. it again. Um, but I think any movie that I wouldn't watch again is somewhere between a three and a six point two. I don't know, like somewhere in that range, where it's just, yeah, it's a movie. Yeah. You know, and I think that's the worst place a movie can be. I think if if you make a movie, you make a movie that pisses people off. Or a movie that fills people with joy after they're done seeing it. It's just, it's a bummer because they had good actors giving decent performances and despite ideas. a horrible script. And then it's like the writing is just, I don't know, did, who, who, so where, where do you think did that John went wrong? helped write this? So it's... I don't, yeah, no. So here's the thing. Here's what I think. I think Jonathan Nolan did not help with the writing. And I think that's what really fucked up Tenet. Uh, maybe. What were you saying, John? I was just saying, where do you guys think that it went wrong? Because I think we all agree that they were really good ideas. Um, that visually, it was nice. That the actors were not the problem. Okay, so the writing is one of the places it majorly went wrong. Yeah. yeah. Um, scene to scene transitions, there's a lot of just wasted stuff. Uh, like okay the sailing scene why the fuck does that exist yeah um characters needed to be characters and it, this is a long movie you had time to characterize yeah. your character i and another thing i didn't again i don't know how you could have cared for these people like you just i don't care i don't care about any of them yeah and i mean it's so simple uh you know 
I have watched like how to make, you know, mediocre movies even. But like one of the things is give people likes and dislikes in, in some way, like have them, for example, Tenet could have been like, maybe he stayed for the food and he's specifically said like, Oh no, like make him do something ridiculous or something not so ridiculous. But like, let's say he puts like ketchup on his steak and they're like, Oh my God, you know, something, something that would make you go like, Oh, this is, this is it's it, Even if it's fake like that, like just something simple would have made you be like, Oh, this is a real person. Instead, everything was movie-fied to, like, the maximum. And it kind of, to me, it, it shows the, I don't know, almost like movies are, like, going away. Like, it's all going to be TV shows from now on, almost. Because how much characterization can you do in two hours? I mean, you can do some there good There are movies that do it. This movie just didn't. This movie made me lose faith in movies. Do you think that Inception could be a TV show? Yeah. So, so, but that's the thing, too. Think, Inception, the characters are characters. No, no. I'm not I'm not saying that Inception... I think it would have been better as a TV show. Ground. I'm just saying Which one that, do you think would be... Do you think it would be better as a TV show? This I movie? Don't. Oh, this or, movie? Or, or, uh, in, or Inception. This, mo- this movie definitely could have done movie, with more time. This movie does seem like it would make a good TV show, but that's because I think TV shows are inherently patchy because you can't have a concise every scene is brilliant on a TV show because it just costs too much. Well, then that's why TV shows have arcs. Yeah. 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 I, mean, like, I, I don't like... Get, but you know what? I would have cared more about the characters. Yeah, for uh, sure. It would have made a better story, but yeah, uh, I think that I think that Tenet was always supposed to be a movie, and I think that visually it wanted to be a movie. So, so I, real quick, right? Um, I just wanted to show you the movies that Nolan has made that Nolan has helped make. So Christopher Nolan and Jonathan Nolan, okay. right? So Memento, right? Mm-hmm. Batman Begins, The Prestige, The Dark Knight, Terminator Salvation. Uh, I don't think that was with Christopher Nolan. He just was an uncredited writer in that one. The Dark Knight Rises, Interstellar. Uh, and he was also uh, one of the main uh, creators of Westworld. So, I mean, I just want to give some fucking shout out to Jonathan Nolan because I feel like he does, he makes good writing. <laughs> He writes good. He improves on, like, on Christopher Nolan's. Yeah, and I feel like Christopher Nolan is probably a better director, like as a director, sure. But Tenet makes me lose lose faith in Christopher Nolan as a as a writer for sure. Hold up, wait. I'm thinking about this bullet thing again, and I think that it's still an issue. Doesn't make any sense? No, you're right. It doesn't make any sense if somebody else shot it because when an inverted person originally shot it is when you would see the bullet return. Yes. So if if this is oh yeah, the, the wall scene is more probable. I, I was thinking yeah, of the, the opera scene. scene. Yeah. Okay. The opera scene was the only one that made sense, and I was, thought I was in for a decent movie when the opera scene was happening. This movie is on a level of like unfinishedness. It reminds me a lot of Looper. I guess the bullets would have to be fire and then the wall would have to be inverted. But that doesn't make sense either. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I can't find There's a way no to way it make, can make it work. sense because. And then, and then the movie's just like. God, it would be the it. person who had to return it always. Yeah. Um, if you want uh, something that was done better than this, but had elements of this. Uh, Your name, the anime, has elements of this, but done really well and properly planned out and uh, properly written. And it makes you really care about the characters where this show does none of those things. Or this movie does none of these things. So, <laughs> so also going back to the fight scenes and just like where I think this movie could have done better. Because like if it had leaned harder into what was visually appealing instead of spending so much time on the things that I thought it was. The only cool things that looked interesting in reverse was any time like 
an explosion happened, a building crumbled, or uh, a bullet was taken out of a wall. Any actual fighting in reverse was always, it always looked wrong and weird. And the driving, the driving was cool too. And also, like, yeah, the driving was okay. But one scene in particular that I'm remembering right now uh, is the scene in which they're, where he's being interrogating interrogated and the person uh who has a gun drawn on them is cat mm -hmm. uh strauss or whatever his name Sater. It, yeah Sater is showing the gun like oh i'm gonna shoot her he can already see the bullet he knows right that's, that's why he bluffed because he knows he doesn't shoot again but all i'm trying to say no 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 but like before that he was like oh no but like you already know she's gonna be shot so like, that can't be undone. Well, you so know he's going to shoot. Head. It could have been a warning shot. No, it had blood on it. There wasn't blood in the glass, was there? Oh, yeah, there yeah, was. Yeah, there was. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm thinking of a different glass scene then. So I would have been like, fuck you. You already shot her. Right, right, but so after he shoots her, that's why he then bluffs, because he knows there's not another bullet hole. He's already fired the bullet he was going to fire. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't shoot her. But that, like, That's another thing. This movie right, says those like, ideas... Are really cool, but then the execution is bad. This is the thing is they, they talk about changing things in this movie. Um, this is very much like a Harry Potter three situation. We are given no evidence that anything can ever change in this movie, right? Yeah, I, but I actually like that. I, right, I, no, I, I, think I, just, I think it's fine. That's a good thing about this. Right, movie. No, no, I, I think it's fine. It, as long as time travel is consistent, I don't care what kind of time travel it is. I just don't get why the characters thought they could change things because they are given no evidence ever that they can. I mean, they do save the world. Right, but... Also, another plot hole is... So, we were led to believe that nobody knew about, like, the inverting of time. Like, there was no... So, like, the good guys had no um, machine. Oh, right, and then they have a billion of them. And then they have, <laughs> yeah. like, a billion and machines off. and a trained officer. Why, did they, ever, why did they ever send him on this mission? What was the yeah, point? No, it's dumb. It's a dumb movie. It's bad. I don't know why you think this is, like, a good movie. It's not a good movie. It's, because it, I, I I thought it was visually appealing enough. And I, yeah, and the music was good. And I think good. I liked The acting characters. was good. Yeah. Like, every scene was good. Well, it some just, of the like, acting was good. It just came together. To no, not a lot good. of the scenes were good. Like I said, the first half of this movie was a total stinker for me, other than the, the like, opera scene. Yeah. The opera scene and uh, the the bar fight scene, I guess you could say. Or the, I'm the, saying like it was filmed competently. It just didn't make sense together. But it was, like, it was nothing the there was nothing is wrong. The whole. It's not just the filming. Sure, the camera yeah. crew did a good job, but that doesn't make it a good movie. <laughs> Sure. The camera crew did a good job on fucking Terminator Genesis, right. but it's a bad well, movie. I think that's Jonathan's perspective being behind the scenes. He he can appreciate what, uh, you know, how they got there, the, those things. Possibly. Um, but me personally, like, I would probably rate it a little bit worse than Jonathan. And I think you, being someone who cares specifically and, and reads more books than uh, any of us, and who obviously rates it higher because the story is dog shit, pretty much, um, you're probably going to rate it the lowest. Well, well, that's the thing, too. My disparagement of the movie is never to do with the technical crew. It, no matter what, they show up and do their job. Very rare have I seen a movie where I'm like, wow, the technical crew did a bad job on this. Other than sound. So, I, I've said many times in movies, uh, every sound designer in Hollywood just needs to be taken out back and shot and just hire new sound designers. Because movies are always mixed horribly. And you, I, I heard you're a really big fan of Wilhelm Scream, though. No, when have I ever said that? <laughs> I feel like that's the most... like When I hear a Wilhelm Scream anymore, like it, it's... It takes me out of it, like, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah so, so I, I will never disparage the though. technical people. I do have a question for you, though. Do you think that a good movie cannot exist without it having a good story? Because I completely disagree with that. Um, Name one. I mean, honestly, Inception, the first time you watch it, you're not going to completely understand the story. I disagree. Wait, but is, it, is it not a good story? Would you say it's a bad It is a good story, but the first time you watch okay. it, you're not going to understand the story, really. I've only seen Inception once, and I understand yeah, the story. Yeah, I've only seen it once, and I understood it. So, really, yeah, yeah. 
But also not understanding a story doesn't make a story bad. Yeah. Name like a bad story, like a, a story you're like, ooh, that is not good. That you're like, it's a good movie. I think it's a very mediocre movie. I still think it's good. I would say this movie because I still think it's good. I think if you give it long enough, you will not be a tenant stand. I'm not a tenant stand. There's so <laughs> many issues with it. But uh, there are there are more elements than just the story. Like um, great out of out of ten, actor actors can carry a bad movie certainly. Um, yeah. But if if your writing is bad and your story is bad and your like transitions don't make sense, that's a lot to overcome to say a movie is good. For sure. I mean, it could definitely be made better, but I still think it's good. I like. I I can't. It's it's so strange to me that you think it's good. Like what other than the the production is good? Uh, hold on, hold, we're just gonna we're just gonna go on in circles here. So, I just want to say, uh, just just rate it out of ten. I don't really think like any, ratings any. are a thing. Like it's just, so. What would you give? Just give it a rate out of ten. A rating out of ten? I would give yeah. it somewhere like maybe a six. Okay, Brendan, what would you rate it? Like four or five? Probably four. So I'm going to stick with the five. So we're four, five, six here. But we can all agree it's not a great movie. Yeah, it's not a great movie. And for for Christopher Nolan, that is a little disappointing because I have liked his previous So this is actually something I wanted to talk about, um, is other Nolan movies. I, I don't think Nolan is like a all-time hitting no, director. No, like he's got some good movies, but those are like ten years old at this point. I mean, I would say I liked Interstellar, and that's seven. I to see. I think Interstellar is not a great movie. Really? Yeah. Again, just it, it's visually appealing, um, but the the story isn't great. They make really? the only female scientist abandon the mission to like. I, I know it's the message of the movie is that like love overcomes everything. I hate that message. First off. Um, but your issues. But with they also it make the they, they make do. the only female scientist irrationally abandon the mission and forsake humanity. On gut feeling. You mean after it was and then done. and then also with the message of the movie being love overcome overcomes everything. She's fucking wrong and he's dead. So it does. It's not even consistent in its own message. Well, he wasn't dead. Yeah, he was. Doesn't she no, bury no, him no. at the end? What? No, he was. The, you're, the, so she she went to the planet that he was on because he pinged that there was life, and they were like, ah, oh, it doesn't really look like it's as good of a candidate. No, I thought I thought his ping stopped no, and no, she buried him no. at the end. No, no he betrayed not. them. No, no, no. no you, that's Matt Damon. That's no, a different character. No, hold on, so let me just explain to you what happened. Okay, who are you talking about? I'm talking about her Matt, husband. Her husband was killed by Matt Damon. No, they went to two different planets. No, that first planet wasn't. That first planet, I don't think, was for her. It was for just. I could be wrong here. I thought but that her husband was Matt Damon or something. No, no, no. Her, her husband is not Matt Damon. It has been a while since I've seen it. Her husband I'm is pretty not sure Matt, Damon. Matt Damon. Killed him. That's the understanding that I, under, you know, came to. I'm pretty sure. So they wait, which planet? Which her. planet was her husband's? It's either the Wave Planet or the. Uh, no, it's Matt. a different planet. The Wave Planet's the first one. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely not the wave planet. So it's it's the last planet that they went to. Um, it's the planet that she goes to on her own. That's what I'm talking about. She abandons the mission. No, I don't know, man. I don't, it's, it sounds it's, like your biggest issue is that they had yeah, the female character do it, which is kind of like I mean, a, I'm, I, you know, it's, I mean, it's not as progressive as you'd like, but no, but also it's the fact that she is the most qualified on the mission. It's the same issue I have with like Prometheus. Right, there's this whole group of qualified people that act in such an idiotic way. I mean, yeah. I took it as a humanity mm. thing. Like, if a dude did it, I would feel the I same. Yeah. Okay. I so I was right. So okay, Edmonds and Matt Damon go to two different planets. They're two different scouts. Uh, um, Matt Damon lied about his. Edmonds' tracker cuts off, and she's like, "This doesn't mean that uh, his planet isn't inhabitable." It just means we can't get a signal. 
I know he's there. And so they go to the wave planet, they go to Matt Damon's planet, and then she goes off on her own to his planet, and uh, Cooper goes to the last remaining. But what happens planet. on the other planet? He's dead, and she buries him. Hmm. And it's a Cooper, and it's a desert last and planet. it's a desert planet. So she he's just, or Cooper doesn't go to the last planet. Sorry, he goes to the fucking tesseract fifth dimension bullshit. Whatever. Yeah. Um, but I, I think the black hole. Thing was yeah. after the first one, they were like, "Oh, it's fucked." But she's she's so confident. She's like, "He's alive, and that's going to be the planet." So she goes off on her own, and then she's wrong on both counts. I don't know. I just saw that as characterization, I guess. I think the the whole point was that it's futile to try to rely on... Um, the whole message of the movie is love conquers everything, and I hate that movie. I don't think it really <laughs> is, but... I mean, that is... That is like, absolutely it, the message of the movie. Literally, he's going through the Tesseract, and he's like, I know it's because of love. Love is guiding me. Love no, guided me. That's here. What, no, that's not... That's not what it is. It's the future. I'm telling you right now. I watched. It's what he says as he is yeah, walking yeah, through the tesseract. It's not the truth. No, I mean, it's absolutely what the movie is about, though. No, it's, it's what the movie is about. Even though the movie is that's clever what, enough to not like have that be yeah, what is that's happening. Yeah, but not actually what's happening. Anyway, that's not the movie right, we're talking about anyway. But, but just, you know, talking about. Here. that's because the future civilization or whatever knew that he was going through the black hole and put them together that was not because specifically because of love that's just because he was in okay that i agree that. you are that is what happened but the point of the movie isn't that that happened the point of the movie is that love and that's i think that that's a fine message yeah but i thought it was a good movie i thought it was a great movie even i give it an eight out of ten and if actually i think that that's a better message because that's talking that's almost like they couldn't change the outcome anyways. What was going to happen, happened. Why not make it because love instead of make it because it was going to always happen? Would you rather watch a guy just be an asshole an entire movie? I would have rather it? her act in line with her character. <laughs> so People are irrational, though. Like I think that that was just... But we're never shown her irrational at any point in the movie. Mm, I disagree. We were when she went to that. Well, yeah, only when she did that, but no, no previous. Or, but if oh, yeah, she so was an irrational person, then uh, but like rational people get irrational, and that would be a perfect reason to be. That's her husband. But she, she, no. she, she, the whole movie, she's no nonsense about the mission, and the mission, by all regulations, tells her she should not do this thing. She didn't want to go there first. I think that it was because she started to realize that it was that. Yeah, there was no hope. No matter she what. realized there was no hope, and she wanted to see her they, husband. Yeah, they had literally already said, like, we're basically fucked. Like, I think that it was less of her just going willy nilly, and it was more of her going, like, fuck it. Like, yeah. I want, I, I'm in love, and I want to see my husband, and I know that he's alive. And, I and know after that. they went through the wave planet, you also have to remember that 50 years had passed. So yeah. basically, Again, this they is are not the movie we're discussing. Yeah, but you got us arguing about it yeah i, I just i was just saying my piece i did not come you had a hot take <laughs> listen you had a hot take and in my opinion also cooper wrong. sucks oh. as a character he's an asshole he's fine he's a terrible father and that's his whole character yeah. is being a dad it's not well, his whole and, and just being a uh, pilot but his whole point is like redeeming which i like i like redemptions anyway the point of the discussion was nolan's filmography which like Memento's good. I don't like Batman Begins that much. Um, Batman Begins is okay. It's a seven out of ten. Prestige is great. Dark Knight's great. Inception's good. Dark Knight Rises is fine. Man of Steel sucks. I don't like Interstellar, but we just went over that. Um, I haven't seen Dunkirk, and this movie blows. Yeah, this is definitely the worst movie he's ever made. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. Man of Steel might be worse. Maybe. Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Oh wait, no. Well, Batman versus. Superman I don't think it's worse, but he didn't make that one. He made Man of Steel. He wrote Man of Steel. I don't know if I'm he directed it. Yeah. He, he wrote Man of Steel. Okay. And here's Christopher Nolan's entire like director. I, really I don't think I don't think Christopher Nolan is much of a writer. I think that, that yeah, no, he's a, not. A, he's not a writer. His brother is a writer. He is a director. But, but anyway, he wrote all those movies I just listed. Uh, he did not write Man of Steel. He's not given credit. I, or, I'm sorry, literally looking right now. Right, you're right. You're right. He, but he did not direct it. Right, I know. I was, I was saying I'd listed the ones he wrote. 
Yeah, so he, the ones he's directed were Following, I never saw it. I haven't seen Memento, it. Insomnia, which I've never seen. Batman Begins, The Prestige, The Dark Knight, Inceptions of The Dark Knight Rises, Interstellar, Dunkirk, and now Tenet. So basically the same minus Man of Steel. Um, yeah, I mean, bef- before this movie, I would have said he's a fine director, just stop letting him write things. Um, no, you would definitely say that. <laughs> well, but, but now also this movie has directing problems, so... <laughs> What are the directing uh, problems? The, the scenes not playing well together and just being yeah. random they're, patchwork bullshit. They're mishmashy. It, it almost feels like you're, I, and I don't know if that was on purpose, but it almost feels well, like it, a dream. Like, that way. actually reminds me of how, I again, I do not think that you can talk about this movie without talking about Inception. Inception had the same type of cuts that were like, supposed to leave you like whoa how did we get here well but inception is set up better inception is a dream it's, it's supposed to be in inception, a dream. like inception also makes more sense and they kind of hold your hand more than yeah like, and also the like, only time i had a real question of like oh what the fuck was that cut it was because we had entered a dream and they just didn't show us yeah and it was understood but yeah. anyway Tenet, uh the whole thing was like uh maybe maybe it's actually a, a sequel to inception that uh because the, the way it's cut makes it seem... That would make it so much worse. worse. <laughs> it probably would. But anyway. Um, yeah, overall, I thought it was a it was a mad movie. Five out of ten for me. So I don't think we really have anything else to talk about, Tenet. I, mean, I think you picked a bad movie, and I can't believe you've done this to me. Who, me? It was Whoever suggested we watch you this. who suggested it. It was me. Well, okay. I think you me. suggested it at some point, and then... Uh, you su- who suggested Justice League, the entire thing? I suggested the, the Snyder Cut, yeah. It's not happening. I'm not watching <laughs> a four-hour movie or whatever. Um, a four-hour movie. I was, like, nodding off at this. Let's it pick a be better good. movie next time. Okay, but or this movie I was think, perfect I, because it created this. Excuse me? Get out of here. Never I, describe this movie as perfect. How dare you? I <laughs> your name. Um, you guys have already seen that. Your name? Yeah. I don't know if I have. I thought you said you had. It's an anime movie. Anyway, this is not germane to the podcast. <laughs> this, um, are we are we ending? It's been forty seven yeah. minutes. We're we're more than good. All right. I think we could have condensed a lot of that into like twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, we could have cut out all the interstellar stuff. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for... I feel like the Interstellar... We should watch Interstellar next. I, I'm not rewatching Interstellar. I would rather rewatch Gravity, and that movie sucked. Gravity sucked. Yeah, that's what I just said. But, the, but Interstellar, Interstellar, we have so much good. stuff to talk about. Yeah, but the yeah, movie sucks, and I don't want to watch it again. <laughs> Everybody loves that movie. You don't I like know. it because of one character, and that's fine. Well, but I don't like, like it because of two characters, and they're the main characters. I don't know if that's true. I think Matt Damon is the most compelling and honest character in that movie. Get out of here! You just want to be country. No, 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 no. He is though, because that's how that's how people would act in that situation. But you don't think that somebody in looking at that humanity's fucked would want to go see their husband? You don't think that? Understand? You don't think that that is how people act? Who was no nonsense prior to going there? So you have to understand that. So it doesn't make any sense for him to turn. Yeah, it's really weird because he was a well-respected. You also did actually the reason that they believed in Discord. What? The reason that they believed in him was because he was such a respected scientist who was no nonsense. How could he have lied? Yeah, I mean, I think the whole point of the movie, to me, is not love is love. Love is the most important. I think the real thing is... We, uh, we cannot continue, we cannot continue to talk about Interstellar. We cannot. I'm trying to end this. Emotional. You already have. This isn't making it in. But, like, but you're making me edit it, and I haven't signed off. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead and sign off. Then we can keep talking about this. I'm not going to continue talking about this. You're out of your goddamn mind. If this is going to be the discussion for the I night, just, I will leave. I just can't believe that you just said that you liked Matt Damon, even though he did the same fucking thing. I didn't yeah, say I liked him. I said he was the most honest characterization. But it's the same. It's not the it same. It's the same. No, it's not. It's yeah, just, it yes, it is. No, it, oh, no, it isn't the same thing. You guys are out of your fur. Anyway, we're, hold on. Can I sign off and so we can be done with this? He was the mission leader. If anything, he was more... Can, can, I, can I please sign off so we can be done with this? All I'm saying is that you're wrong. You are totally wrong. I don't care. <laughs> we're going to pick a better movie next time, hopefully. And hopefully you'll have no relation to Interstellar. 
So it never comes up again. <laughs> We're watching another Nolan movie. I'll see you next week. There's no Nolan movie I would want to watch again, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know if we'll do this weekly or, or, or what's going to happen, but yeah, we, we might continue doing this. I, I don't think this was that bad. We watch movies. We watch movies. We do that. Anyway, thanks for listening. See you next time.